Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. Now in this video, I'll walk you through with the basics of game development. No, it's not gonna be a practical tutorial, but it will really help you to get started in the game development. So all the knowledge that you're looking for to get started in the game development is gonna be in this movie. So let's get started. Now game development is a very vibrant domain. You're gonna love every single moment that you'll be spending in designing a game and once the product is done, you will enjoy more playing that. Now the best part of the game development is that when you design something or you design an algorithm, mostly it's unpredictable. So it's something uh, involved with a lot of randomization and that's why the player who is designing the game actually enjoys it even more because he's not able to clear up what the level that he's created. But before we even move on to the game development, I would like to clear up a lot of myth that's going on here. Now I have seen hundreds and hundreds of students asking me the same question like I am a great Counter-Strike player or I am a great Call of Duty player. I want to design my game, I spend uh, many hours of my day in playing that game and I want to learn game design. Now there are some good things and bad things with that. The good thing is that you are aware with the game uh, playing strategies and game designs and game arena quite a lot, that's a good thing. But if you're gonna be spending a lot of time in just playing the game, eventually you will never be able to get started in the game design and game development. So the very first thing that you need to do is uninstall that Call of Duty or Counter-Strike that you have in your computer. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not completely against with the game uh, playing, in fact I do play a lot of games. but in, in case when you want to design something or develop something, you have to spend a lot of your time in learning that instead of just playing the game. So technically speaking, it would be a complete lot of wastage of your valuable time in playing that game. And again, game playing is a completely different industry and game designing is a completely different industry. In most of the Asian countries, the game playing is quite hype and quite growing nowadays. In case you haven't watched the documentary, please go ahead do watch the documentary by Vice, a very good YouTube channel and pretty big guys. And they have created a great documentary in what is the life when they when there are players, uh, kind of a very famous player in playing the games like League of Legends or Call of Duty. So do watch that. But again, coming back here onto the game development. So the first thing that you want to do is keep away all the distraction like playing the games and everything. Now getting started into the game development. So what kind of research do you need to do? Now, first of all, you need to decide yourself what kind of game you will be building. Like there is a domain of 2D games and there is a domain of 3D games. Now, being a little bit old guy, I like to be into the 2D games a little bit more. Like the retro style games, I was born in the era of Mario and Contra. So I like to be in that kind of gaming style. But again, this is no compulsion for you at all. So decide yourself whether you want to go in the 2D games or the 3D games. For the 2D games, of course, it's more over a mobile oriented and uh, it's pretty easy to get a hype in that kind of game. For example, uh, the Flappy Bird, which was having a which was having a pretty easy design and it got popular there and a lot of games like that you can do. Now, if you want to get started with the 2D game, the Construct 2 and the Sprite Kit are two great way of getting started with that. Now, one thing that I like about the Sprite Kit is you can use your existing iOS development knowledge and can enhance that in the Sprite Kit and can design pretty easily a nice game. Now, the drawback is it's gonna be only published on the iOS platform. But again, you get a lot of benefit with that. Let's talk about it someday else. Now moving on to the Construct, Construct 2 is a little bit different game engine and it's mainly based on a Windows platform, but again, don't get me wrong, it's a very powerful thing. It designed all of its games based on mostly on JavaScript. So you will be able to export your game for iOS, Android, Windows, or maybe other platforms as well. So it's a great point of getting started. But again, these all are 2D games. Now, if you want to get started with the 3D games, there is a whole plethora of engines uh, getting out there. Now, may maybe later on in some of the movie, I'll talk about the top game engines that are out in the market and you may get onto that. But naming a few engine, you might be aware with the Unity 3D, which is getting more popular nowadays. There is uh, Far Cry engine and, and a lot of engine like Saga engines and 
uh, pretty much lot of there are nowadays and again a lot of are being used in the design of Call of Duty some are being used for the Assassin Creed and everything has their own advantage and disadvantages again pricing point is there somehow okay so once you are ready for uh, the 3D game engine, make sure that you understand the basic knowledge. For example, you want to get into the Unity game development and you can design some pretty fantastic games with that. You need to understand you have to switch into the C-sharp language. But again, uh, that's going to be a good point to get started. Okay, so what is it like in the 3D game design? Now, 3D game design is a completely different animal. It has a lot of things like graphics, the UI design, uh, the moment controls, uh, the, the monitor mapping, and the event mapping, sounds, physics, uh, and a lot of things is there. But again, I may talk about them later on in some videos. Right now, let me just say you that designing a 3D game engine is, or not the engine, the 3D game itself is a different thing. So you might want to research a lot about your engine. Now, in the, le in the next movie, I'll talk about what is game engine and how you can uh, rely on the game engine, how to choose the best engine for you, for yourself. That's going to be coming up in the next video. But right now, let me just tell you that uh, game engine are ma majorly based on a few things like the events, the polling, the physics, sound and your entire environment that you are creating. So again, do a lot of research on that. Now, my goal with this movie was to just to get started and clear up some myths about the game development and how you can get started with that. Now, for sure, in the upcoming movies, I'll talk a little bit more about the 3D game engines, the game physics, sprite kits, construct and a lot of such things. So stay tuned in case you haven't subscribed yet. Do subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit the like button if you like the video in case you haven't liked it. No problem. No hard feelings. I'll try even better next time. With that, I'll say goodbye for this, for this particular movie. I'll catch you up in the next video.